What's going on everybody? This is Al from PlaybookGamer.com and in the last Dynasty video we took on Notre Dame and somehow some way we came out on top with a crazy upset victory. They turned the ball over a lot, we took advantage of it and we only turned the ball over once. I think that was the theme of the game and we are now four and five which is incredible for as little talent as we have. Today we're taking on MTSU. This will be a different type of challenge. They're three and six, but they got, you know, obviously more talent than we do. And you're looking at some of their stats here. It looks like they run the ball okay. Their defense isn't all that great. If I'm not mistaken, they have an impact running back we'll have to fool with. So that'll be a challenge. We tend to struggle against rushing attacks, decent ones at least. So we got to figure out a way to mitigate that and still come out with the win because after today, all we have left is the Eastern Kentucky game, and that's it. If we win out, we'll go 6-5, and five, but I do not think we will go to a bowl. We could, Unless we get very lucky, I just don't think that'll happen. So we are really close to the offseason stuff, which is always fun, and the closer you get to that, the quicker you want to get to it, just because, like I said, it's, just, it's a blast. So uh, let's go to... Sports Illustrated, and let's go look at our team information screens. Here we are, Eldridge, 13 touchdowns, 12 picks, almost 2,000 yards. Odoms, he, he's he got a great average. We just don't run the ball enough. If we ran the ball more, the average will go down quite a bit. We're just trying to pick in our spots there because our best talent is that wide receiver and tight end, and we're trying to do our best to work around that. And our offensive line isn't all that great. Look at here. Biggers is putting up some okay numbers, only four touchdowns. Our offense hasn't put up crazy numbers this year anyway because you got to remember we're running clock. That's going to deflate our numbers big time and just lack of talent in general. But, hey, we're four and five for what we got. I'm more than pleased. Looks like Westbrook is leading the tackles, but Dox is leading sacks and interceptions. We can go and check out MTSU's page. They are in the Sun Belt. Looks like one of their quarterbacks is out. Could be the starter. I'm not really sure. But you look at their running back, their leading rusher has over 100 yards average a game. That's really impressive. So that's what we're going to have to deal with today. Let's see. Everything else looks fairly normal. We can check out, you know, bowl rankings. Does it pertain to us? But we can still see who's kind of doing what. Oklahoma, my beloved volunteers, USC, Texas, LSU, your typical standard powerhouse teams. We can go look at Heisman Watch. Reggie Bush, Cody Hodges, Kellen Clemens, that Bowling Green wide receiver. And there's Robert Meacham still kind of hanging around the top five. Bowl per, uh, award finalists, we're not on any of these lists, but you can kind of see who is up for what. I was hoping, uh, and I hate to say this, but I had to go back and look. I've been calling St. Louis John St. Louis, but it's Jimmy. I felt so bad calling him John St. Louis all year. And that's not even his real name, so that's like a disrespect thing. But anyway, that's just that's what I get for not paying attention to my own roster. But like I said, we don't have anybody on these lists as expected. I was kind of maybe thinking St. Louis would be on there, but it, he's not. Not a big deal. Bowl projections, we are not anywhere to be found. But again, we're not expected to be. Even if we finish 6-5, and five, I think it'll be real tough for us to get on there. Now, I'm curious. One thing I missed, we can look at the archive covers. I didn't know. Okay, what's like... Vanderbilt upset Florida, so that was a bad week to to beat Notre Dame. I was hoping we may have sneaked up on the cover, and but it looks like we're not. Maybe it was this week. Either one, no, yeah, it would have been this week because we had a bye week the previous time, and you didn't see any of that. So everything else, I think we're good to go. I wanted to look at our roster really quick, just see if. Anybody else has went up? We've already proved that a lot of guys are going up plus three, plus two. So we've already proved that you do not need home field advantage turned on in order to get these end season boosts, which is good. But I wanted to show you right here. It's Jimmy St. Louis. 
I feel so bad for calling him John all this time. But that's okay. He's having a great season. You can look at his stats here. Only four touchdowns. If he had more than that, he probably would have been on that list somewhere. But 48 receptions is pretty good. His average is ridiculous, 13.4. I pretty much designated the entire passing game, unless it's a third and long. I have him going on a go route most of the time because he's such a nightmare matchup for everybody just because of his size. There's no linebacker or safety that can keep up with that cat. So we're going to continue to take advantage of that if we can. I am good with everything else. I do need to change a formation sub, but we got to do that in the game, not here. So we'll get out of that, and let's just go ahead and take on MTSU. I'd like to have somebody get in trouble. That would be nice. I want to get that bar down. We're still at a half last time I checked it. I want to get that down a little bit more. We still got quite a bit of discipline points to use. I'd like to use them if I can, but it looks like nobody's in trouble. I'm looking at the scattering report for MTSU. They run a spread offense. They are 55-45 on the run-pass ratio. They run a 4-3 defense. That's pretty even as well. A lot of A sets, one gun, and three I formation sets. So they're going to be under center quite a bit. Maybe we could do some heavy blitzing. I don't know if their quarterbacks can run or not, but if they don't, we're going to go after them hard. Again, unless they just run the ball quite a bit. Got a rain game today. I want the ball in the second half. And let's go to in-game strategy. I want to go to that formation sub. If you remember in the last game, we were forced to play a lot of dime. And the reason because our best linebacker, which isn't very good, but he's still our best, John Dykes got hurt. And that resulted in everybody in the low 50s. On, at the linebacker positions. So we were forced to go to corner, and we got a couple of guys in the 50s, but look at their speed. At least they're faster than those linebackers. So we played a lot of dime. So you go back here. What I wanted to do was make this one change and dime replace our starting middle linebacker with Dax. He, Dax is faster and better overall. That was the only thing I felt like I had to do there. So now let's check out MTSU's roster. Looks like their starting quarterback Yes, it's their backup that's out. Exact same player, apparently. 65 speed will go after him. And I was correct. I, I've played these guys before, and this is the first season of a dynasty, so it's easy to kind of remember roughly who has what. And they got an impact running back. 90 speed, his backup is 90 speed as well, but we're going to have to find a way to shut him down. I'm guessing we're going to play a lot of one high, just keep a lot of guys in the box, try to contain him until we get hopefully in a third and long situation. Decent fullback, good little receivers, 84, 82. 70, you know, not bad, deep tight ends. I don't know if they're going to throw to them or not. Looking at their offensive line, 70, 76, 78, 89. A really good right tackle. Would love to have him. Everybody would. Jermail Franklin, that's a great name. Like I said, they run a 4-3. Now, this guy's big enough to play a 3-4 defensive end, 6-4, 270. Man, 78 overall. They got an 84 overall here. Sean Mosley. Impact defensive tackle. I'm pretty sure on that information screen, he is their leading tackler, which is very impressive for a defensive tackle to lead the team in tackles. That means you got a real stud there, or you're terrible everywhere else. But if you've already looked, they got a bunch of guys in the 80s on defense, which makes me wonder why their defense has been so bad all year. Who knows? Hopefully we can exploit that and – put several hundred yards on them today. But they got a, you know, a decent little linebacker unit, especially for their conference. And it looks like their number two corner is their impact guy on defense, or one of them. It's always interesting. I, when I'm on the right hash, I like to have a short zone beater, you know, on the right side and vice versa on the left. So going up against an impact guy on the right is always interesting when they're going zone on you. And if you're going to run in that direction, depending on the front seven and whatnot. Look at the free safety. Okay, 80 at strong safety. A terrible kicker. A really good punter. They just got some players. It is what it is. So let's go ahead and get started. Would love to get an upset win today. That'd be great. Get to five and five. Hopefully we can play as good as we've done against Notre Dame. It's all about the turnovers. And taking advantage of that stuff. 
I love those uniforms. Look like Detroit Lions. At least the colors and whatnot. I'm going to go nickel just because that's... We're going to do just a ton of nickel and dime. Our linebackers are so bad. Uh, let's just do that. I'm a little worried that my strong safety is on their impact guy. And this ain't good. Look at that. Wow. What a play. Now, we got to go back and look at this. If I can get to it quickly enough. And I didn't get to it quick enough. Now, their quarterback's a left-handed quarterback. Now, he ran a play-action play where it takes him forever because he's got to get turned back around. And look at this. This is bad awareness. That's just that's just bad player right there. Otherwise, he probably would have sacked him. So he got blocked. Anyway, now he's up and he's ready to throw it. And he went with that one-on-one -on -one situation going up against Galashaw. And just a great play by that receiver. Galshaw just wasn't in a very good position. He broke that tackle and was fixing to break another one. Just a great play. What do you, you know, nothing you can do about that. All right, we're going to go dime. We're going to go quarters. Throw in my direction. I'd love to pick that thing off. Ah, dang it, I was way off. Just in terrible position. My bad, my bad. I want to stay in quarters, but I can see him running it. Let's see, they're going trips. I'm going to stay in. We'll take that. They went with the QB choice and he kept it. Going three wide, I'm still going to stay in dime quarters. like we're going gun two back slot. I got some bodies on my side. Half back direct. Dang it. I don't, I mean, I don't. What do you do? It's got cut up on a tackle. We're on a block. Perfect blocking everywhere. Nobody can shed their blocks. So that's not the start you wanted, but it is what it is. Hopefully we can get on offense and Return the favor. We're going to try to run a lot of clock today. Keep it away from that offense. Because I have a feeling we're going to have a hard time stopping that offense. Especially if they run the ball well enough. The one time I went with a one high, they went over the top. A lot of that is just guesswork at that point. I am going... We'll just go ahead and take this out and see what happens. Nothing. There's never nothing up the middle. Right, let's do a toss play out of the gate. Let's see if we can get the run game going. Looks like their two impact guys are on the right side. I will probably run to the left. Great job by that corner shedding the block there. We're good here. Let's go. Let's do a screen. The screen game worked great for us in the last game. I think it's worked great for us the last couple games. It's really complemented the run game. It's helped CT not have to make too many hard throws. We're going to give this to Biggers. I probably need to be calling these on first downs and second and shorts and such instead of second and sevens. Look at that. Ah, I wanted to get the first there. It just couldn't happen. Third and one. We can try. If they're going to go halfback direct, I'm going to go halfback direct. And I didn't think about that. They're doing that. Uh, I'm going to flip that. Let's see what happens. I'm going to flip it just so... I want to get away from those two impact guys. And I... Dang it. I just... I, I lost my thumb on my thumb, on the joystick. Dang it. I completely botched that. You can go back and look at this. Look, I stopped. I left my thumb off the joystick. By then, it was too late. I don't know if I would have gotten the first down. Well, and I pressed the wrong one. That's okay. Just a bad start. Probably should have threw it. But we have no choice but to punt. And this is a terrible kick. This is going out of bounds. Well... 
now they got amazing field position, but I have to high kick it. Otherwise, they'll probably get an easy touchdown. We're going to go with a one high. I think they're going to run it. And I didn't need to do that. Halfback draw. Look at this. That's just easy eight yards. Oh, geez. I really want to. Hmm. I'm going to take a chance to do a zone blitz. I, like, I really want them to throw here. Wide open. Just, what do you do? You know, couldn't get to him. I'm going to do an all-out blitz because we're fixing the score. And I completely botched this. He's, well, at least we got to him. I couldn't get to my guy time because I flipped it. Kind of threw me off. I'm going... Mm, let's do Thunder Green. They're going gun wide trips. Oh, I couldn't get to him in time. Broke to a couple tackles. So now it's, what, third and five? I'm going to go back to an all-out blitz. Uh, what do you do? Nothing you can do about it. Nobody can shed their block for anything. So this may be a long game. It's so weird how you face a team like this. That's just nowhere near as talented as Notre Dame, yet they'll just run Ramshot all over you like it's nothing. Just another halfback direct. That's why. That's another reason why I don't feel bad about running halfback direct as much in this game. A lot of people think it's cheese, but, you know, when the CPU's doing it against you, do you feel really bad about it, to be honest? I'm going to take a chance here. Somehow I squeezed through a hole. I don't know how. So where are we? What are we doing here? Let's go. We can try a screen on a first and ten. Instead of doing on a second and seven. We're going zone. This is going to go to J Jimmy St. Louis. Look at that. Just The guy just shed his block so easily. Biggers just couldn't block him. I mean, I couldn't go around them or anything. So let's try. Let's do a halfback angle. They're going zone or just going to zone me to death, aren't they? This will go to Lane or the Biggers. Or no, Galashaw, I guess. I probably need to switch those twos around. No, I need to keep Biggers in the slot for third and long. Get it down to a couple seconds. Almost get the first. So close. It's a good try. I like to think I can get a first down here. They're going man. Everybody's doing that, so I'm going to run to my left. If my left side can block for me, that'd be great. Just pick up the first down and be done with it. I'd love to do basic slam, but I just don't know if my line can handle it. They may not be able to handle this. Just enough to get the first. <laughs> so we're back on the left hash again. Let's go. Oh, we can do a parachute play. We can go tight end drag. Or go with man at least. This will go to either DeLume or Biggers. The clock has stopped. I'm going to bring him over. Just, uh, dr did he drop it? Or, I mean, I thought the throw was halfway decent. Just, I mean, he, what do you do? Your best player just drops it. Uh, let's... Um, 
I'm gonna do a we'll do a slam. We're going man at least. Maybe I can get to the outside. Clock has stopped. Run away from him if you can. Wow, just barely get five yards out of it. Third and five. Um, I have it on my mind, so we're just going to go half back out. I just want to get my... Who's over on the left? Bigger is good. I'm just trying to think of an easy way to get five yards, and this was a play that was on my mind. So we're going to let that clock run. The perfect situation here, if we could just slowly get down the field, run as much clock, and get a touchdown. Get it back within six or seven points. High snap. Good throw there. Good deal. First down. Let's go. Um, let's do another run play. We're going to go back to slam. Sister going 4 3. They're going zone. What I want to try to do, I'm going to bring him over. That linebacker will probably come over. We'll run to the left and see if we can find a decent hole, at least up the B gap. The clock has stopped, so we can go ahead and snap it. No blocking. Barely get a couple. Uh, I'm trying to think. Here. Second and seven. I know what I'm going to do. Well, we could do a wide receiver deep post. That's doable. We're going man. I didn't add this to my parachute book just because there's really no motion needed. I always like to throw in the motion if possible. But this is going to go to one of our impact guys. They're bringing both safeties. If I'm going to have to go to my tight end. And just... I was fixing to get sacked. Somebody came right on through because I, my right guard got killed and he let that guy through. I just... You know. Nothing you can do about that. So, it is third and seven. I want to, I'm going to do a halfback direct and have a manageable fourth down because I still want to run some clock if I can. They're going man. And dang it, they're doing that. Uh, that was probably the wrong one to do. I think I may just, uh, let's just go for it. Okay, I thought he was going to blitz me there. We'll go with the first down. We're going to go back here. We can run this play. I feel pretty safe as CT can make this work. We're going to go with P. Reed. We're going man. I'd love to be able to try to go to Whitaker here. The clock has stopped. Tipped. Those guys cover that ball, that round, a whole lot better than I thought. They do, I do so much better with it in practice, but they just cover it well. I probably, well, he was double teamed. Let's go back to halfback angle. We're going zone again. The clock has stopped, too. That's the only downside with drops and tips and whatnot. The clock don't run anymore. They left him wide open again. They're leaving the middle open, so I have to go to it. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to call the exact same play. I'm just curious to see what will happen. They're going man this time. The only thing that worries me is I'm going after – they're bringing both safeties. Good. At least I'll feel better by going to Jimmy St. Louis. I'm pretty sure that strong safety is going to come down. Because I don't want to throw to that corner. Not if I can help it. Ah, just, just she short armed it. Just great defense too, but oh, he dropped it. Come on, Saint Louis, that should have been an easy catch. Ah, uh, just what do you do about that? So where are we? We are on the th seventeen. I don't think I can make that. It's fourth and two. I don't think I can make that kick. So what we're going to do? I don't know if this will work. Uh, let's. We're going to do halfback streak. We're going man.
And I, I, I swear that just upsets me to no end. CT makes the worst throw ever. I just barely touch it. A press. And look how bad that throw is. Maybe I just need to run the ball more. I just, at times, I wonder why I'm wasting my time throwing so much. When your offensive line is so bad and your, your running backs aren't very good, it's hard to justify running the ball so much. But maybe I need to. So I may just start doing that more. Because drives like that drives me nuts when your quarterback can't make the simplest of throws. That's why I call that play. Well, now we got to deal with this cat. I'm going to take a chance on a zone blitz. And easy first down there. Uh, first and ten. I'm still going to go back to a one high. They're determined to run it, so... Just an easy play. They're making it look easy. We're going to do another one high. I fully expect him to throw it here. Or run it, sorry. Yep, half back direct. Easy first down. We're going to do quarters. Their sister going five wide. I'd like to think that they're going to throw it. <laughs> we got to take advantage of this situation right here. And never mind. And at least they only got a few yards out of it. We're going to stay in quarters. I'd like to think they're going to throw here. And he still catches it. it. I don't know what to do about that. I tried to get in the best position possible. just didn't work. I got to pick one of those off to give my team a chance. Because right now, offensively, it's a pure struggle. And they still catch it. He, he, he went to the wrong guy, and the other guy still caught it. New quarters. For them to only have, wait a minute, there's something wrong. I just, I'm looking at, I'm looking here, I'm looking at their playbook, and I don't see gun-wide trips on their, on their playbook, so I either messed something up or what, but their playbook said they only got one gun formation, it's gun normal, but we've already seen gun trips, gun-wide trips, gun five wide. So I goofed up somewhere, so I need to update this scouting report. I must have just... I see what I've done. Dang it. I copied and paste MTSU in Minnesota. That's what I've done wrong. I'll go fix that later. Okay. Well, no wonder. Makes sense now. All right. Let's try a zone blitz. So I need to need, quit looking at that. That's going to mess me up. I don't look at it too often, but I'm just starting to wonder. I'm like, where are these formations at? Look at this. Even my best corner... Just, I mean, it's starting to look like 09 here. And 08. He got, oh, that's what happened. He couldn't get around that guy. He got bumped into that guy. Dang it. Well, it doesn't matter. We're going to get killed. Unless we get super lucky in the second half. It is what it is, so we just got to move on from this one. It, it's, it just really stinks when you play Notre Dame that great, and then if you, you feel like you can't do anything in games like this. And we're not even turning the ball over. What It doesn't help that our best players are dropping the ball. Now, we got a minute. I would love to be able to go down the field and score. That's just nobody blocked them.
let's do a I, I really just want to get out of the half I just don't trust us to go right down the field and score but watch them call a timeout here I'm gonna leave it as is Nope, they're not going to call a timeout, so I'm going to let that thing run. We'll do a slam. We're going dime. They want me to run to the left. That's pretty obvious. So we're going to do that, but I'm going to let that clock run. It's just not worth me trying to get down the field and throw the ball around and stop and clock. Well, I, hmm. I kind of want to stay in bounds. I probably should have dove. I wonder if I could take a knee. Will they call? Let's, let's do a QB kneel and see what happens. You only got one timeout left, so I'm just going to take a knee. Okay, well, that was about as bad as half as you can ask for, but it is what it is. You know, we just can't stop them on defense, and offensively, it's a struggle. I think St. Louis already has two drops. I mean, and it's, it's CT make decent throws there. You know, but it's just, what do you do? We can look at some stats. It's not going to look pretty. 81 yards. We actually almost have more rushing yards than passing yards, but it's, it's all-time bad. Their quarterback is 8 for 8, playing really good. We can't get to them. We're struggling on the blitz, and it's just all bad for whatever reason. You go back to individual stats, go to re receiving. I'm just curious here. Yeah, St. Louis got two drops. One of them was going to be a touchdown. So we get the ball start second half. Maybe we get a touchdown here or make it look more reasonable. I'd love to see Galshaw find a gaping hole here and Get a nice 50-yard run. Something like this will be good. Ah, just a great run. We'll take it. Now, let's see if CT can handle this. We're going to go back to that tunnel screen. They're going man. This will go to somebody on the right. I'm going to heart route St. Louis to a go. It's a little bit easier to work with. And they're bringing both safeties. Make a catch, please. He's just having a terrible game. I don't understand it. He's just playing bad. What do you do? All right, let's go half back to Rick. I'm going to flip it this time. Just because. Oh, and they flipped their defensive tackle. That's interesting. They're going zone. They're shifting that way. That's a face mask. Not really. So what's what? Third and four. I want to try and half back out. We'll flip it. What worries me is, though, they're going man. Nope, they're going zone. Let's see if Odoms can make this catch. It's still a two-down territory for us. I'm still going to run clock. I mean, I could hurry up, but I don't see the point in that yet. I mean... What do you do? Just nothing's working today. Not a thing. So, uh, we're going to flip. I'm going to... We're going to do tight end streaks. We're going man, but that guy's on him. I knew that was going to happen. I knew it, I knew it. The clock's going. I'm going to let it do the same. I, I really want to go to Biggers. I don't know if he can get that first down. They're bringing both safeties. I got to try it. Come on, you got to catch it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It was a matter of time for he was going to get that one down. I had to go over the top. I had no choice. They brought both safeties. My quarterback got killed. I'm just glad he caught it. I know a lot of people are going to th they think user catches works, and it probably works a little bit better than normal if you just let the CPU handle it. Half the time, I don't trust myself. I figure I'll be out of position or whatnot. It kind of depends, but most of the time, I'd rather let the CPU handle it. They usually do a really good job of it. Today, not so much. I'm glad he caught that one. 
So we went right down the field and scored. It didn't take up a whole lot of time. But their offense is having no issue scoring on us. We got to do something about that. We're going to have to force a turnover. And we got a player hurt, Tony Ryan. Don't know who he is. I don't look at my roster hard enough for to pay attention. I'm going to do one high. I think they're going to run. Yeah, I completely botched that scattering report for this team for whatever reason. I noticed that in Minnesota, the team right below them had the exact same playbook, so I'll go fix that later. Look at this. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Six points. Is that Barry Sanders out there? Too easy. I, there's nothing you can do about it. He's just going to make his plays. At that point, you just need better talent to, to compensate for that. He ran through, what, four guys right there? Defense was great. They just can't tackle. <laughs> At least I had him in the right place. It's just up to them to make the tackle. So much for that touchdown we had. Since I feel pretty confident we're not going to be able to stop their offense, there's no point in me. I mean, I can try to win this. I mean, I'd love to win it, don't get me wrong, but it's kind of hard when your defense just ain't going to stop anybody. They got a player hurt. Let's do a screen. It's on my mind, so I'm going to call it. This will go to Biggers. Get a block there. Eh, get about five yards. Let's run the trips version of that. Going zone again. I'll just go back to... This is going to go to Galashaw this time. The clock has stopped. Not bad there. Get a first down. Good little play there. Everybody looks really gassed. Uh, let's move that sub package back to normal. Let's go back to tight end streaks. Then we'll do a run play after this one, depending. We're going zone. I love running this play against zone. It seems like so many times they go man on it, which is fine too. It technically works better against man. But I love hitting this zig out when I motion him over. As such, pick up the first there. Let's um, let's do slam. We're going man. I want to go to my left just because. I got all that grass to play with. The clock has stopped. No blocking whatsoever. None. So what we'll do, we'll stay here. Let's do a toss instead. And we're going zone. Looks like I gotta go left. I'm gonna let that clock roll. Might as well. The quicker I give them the ball, the quicker they'll score. <laughs> if I had any faith in the defense, I would. Like last week, I had faith in the defense. They actually showed up and done things, but tonight, they're just not going to. Fumble, and that's the ball game. And CT's hurt. Injured his arm. That's the perfect play right there. That summed up the game right there. Oh, geez. What do you do? And that's another reason why I'm not a big fan of running the ball a whole lot with this team because my running backs tend to fumble it. Pick up solid four there with a quarterback that can't even run technically. Let's do a one high. Look at this. It just he had to run into one of my guys in order to get tackled. <laughs> That's bad. I need better players. Let's do another one high. Right, 
I'm not a big fan of that safety on the halfback. I may have to come down really quick. That's a good tackle. That's the best tackle I've seen today. We're going to do, I'm going to try his own blitz. Watch him run the ball. Got to do something. And, of course, they run to the opposite side. And, wow. I mean, what, I just, what do you do? <laughs> when it rains, it pours. All-time bad right there. Some games they play great. Others, it's like, look at this. I don't know what my safety was doing there. That wasn't even a bad pursuit angle. That was just pure stupidity. Oh, well. Still don't know what's happened to CT. They haven't said anything. So we'll get the ball back, and now the game is over with, so I'm just going to run clock. I don't want to bore you through trying to make something out of this because it's obvious my offense isn't good enough to try to keep up, and my defense can't stop them. Just don't fumble it. I got all gun stuff, don't I? Uh, let's try. See, I, I'm afraid these guys are going to fumble it, but I don't want to just run clock and be done with it. Last well, CT's coming back at least. We're going zone. Let's move him over, see what happens. It's not a whole lot there. Let's do a slam. Love to try to run to the right here as long as they don't shift that direction. We'll throw in some screens to complement the run game as long as they can catch it. And at this point, I know, I know this may sound like a defeatist ad, but I just feel like i got to run clock and end this game because this game is over with. There we go. We looked out on that when that guy went on the inside instead of the out. Don't fumble it. Don't fumble it. Don't fumble it. Just, I don't know if you saw it there. Let's see if I can get to it in time. There we go. The linebacker right here, he went in. He blitzed, so I had to go to the outside, and he got stuck. So I had to go to the outside. It just made sense to do that. Okay. Let's do a screen. They're going man. Now, what I would like to try to do, let's get Whitaker out of there so we can move that guy over. I don't want him to make a play. So we'll just go to Biggers. I don't know if the blocking will be there. Just, at least we got some yards out of it. Let's end the game. And the quarter's over with, thankfully. Let's do a QB choice. I'm just going to hand it off. And, of course, they go 4-3 on a run play out of trips. That makes a whole lot of sense. It could be much worse, I guess. It's third and five. We can try. Let's do a toss play. Let's just keep running the ball. Now they put in their second string. <laughs> That's when you know it got bad. I'm going to go to my left. I don't think I want to have it set up as such. Just going to run some clock. I know this is the boring part of the game, but it's, it is what it is when you get blown out. And my left guard got completely, annihil completely annihilated. Look at that. Nothing you can do about it. Just a bad, terrible game. It's one of the bad ones we've had this year. For whatever reason, it's just been terrible. Nothing's worked. So we got to try to get a first down to keep it going. Sucks, but this is our third, fourth down attempt. We'll try to give it to somebody here. Cut. 
going cover two. And at least he got the touchdown. I thought the receiver, I don't know if you saw this. Let's look, we can look at this replay. Another replay here. Let's see. You go back and look at this. I thought the ref was going to get in the way. You can go back and look at right here. We can, oh, you can put on the ref. That's cool. He got in the way a little bit. I thought just enough to where he couldn't make the catch, but he was able to make the catch. Now, what I can try to do, since the game is over with, I'm going to work on my on-site kicks, and maybe we can get lucky a time or two. That way we can get the ball back and run some more clock. And this may be a miss. Nope, he's going to get it. So let's, this is good practice time. So let's go to onside kick and see if we can make something work. They'll probably put their first string back in after that touchdown. Great bounce. Somebody get it. That's a scrum. We'll be here forever. I hope the clock's running. <laughs> this is great. Like I'm stuck. My kicker's stuck. Oh, and it goes out of bounds. Of course it does. That sums up this game so perfectly. Look at this. Okay, it takes forever. Okay, now the ball's out. This should be our ball right here. Oh, that's so bad. That sums up the game perfectly. Ah, but it is what it is. We got to move on. We got to win the next game. It's Eastern Kentucky. That's definitely winnable. But we got to take care of business. Nothing's for certain with this team. And they go QB draw. They've decided to run the ball as well. I don't blame them. Good stop there. One of the better defensive plays of the day. I think they're still going to run it, but we'll do cloud. Love to get a stop here and get the ball back. That'd be great. And I was able to get the sack. That's pretty cool. I don't know if you see me over there. I get around that guy. And I had to get around the halfback. I keep pressing L1 and R1, just to move one side to the other. And they're going to punt. We're going to do a middle fan. I hope this works. Just... At least the clock's running. We get the ball back. Hopefully we don't screw it up here. That's definitely going in the end zone. Get out of the way there. I'm going to let Odoms carry it some more. Go draw. We're going man. Lost five yards. There's nothing up the middle. Otherwise, I mean, there could have been something right there, but I, I just don't think it was going to happen. A loss of six. That's all-time bad. Let's do a toss play. Going man. I want some grass to work with, so let's go to the left. Let that clock roll. If we can get a first down or two, we can end this thing. Hopefully my left guard can don't do anything too crazy here. Just get the first, stay in bounds. Let's see if we can get... I would do halfback screens, but my halfbacks can't catch the ball. Oh, because there's several good halfback screens in this game. 
but they just can't catch the ball well, so I just don't think it's worth it. Plus, they take longer to develop compared to the wide receiver screen. Wide receiver screens, you can just get the ball out really quick. Halfback screens, not so much. Let's go, GB St. Louis. Interesting little play here. He was able to shed the... Oh, I was able to juke him. So what happened. Great blocking everywhere else. And then this guy comes. Gets the tackle. Good little play, though. We'll do tunnel screen. I'm still going to let that clock run. Somehow, C.T. Eldridge got MVP for our team. <laughs> this will go to somebody on the right. I'll do a run play after this one. I'll just go to the right here. I'm just going to go down. No reason for him to get hit or fumble it. Let's do basic slam with Lane. We're going man. Both teams exactly 298 yards, yet they have way more touchdowns than we do. Let's go to the right. We got a better block on the right. Get it down to a couple seconds. And dang it, that's just all time bad there. What happened? Jeez, that was so bad. I went for a juke out of the gate. That probably wasn't smart. But for some reason, Jimmy St. Louis just could not block this guy. I was hoping he could, and he just he couldn't. Threw me off. Let's give Galashaw a chance here. Do a screen to him. I'm going to call one more play. This probably isn't smart. If somebody gets injured here, then it's all my fault. But it doesn't really matter. We only got one game left. I mean, of course, we need to win it. And nobody got hurt. All right, game over. Thank the Lord. A nine straight completion, that's awesome. But when everything's a screen, you know, it shouldn't be too hard. So let's check out whatever little stats there are. Go here. I got more yards than they did. They only threw the ball. They didn't run. They didn't throw the ball once in the second half. Not once. He went eight for eight in that first half. They didn't have one incompletion. And they had a 10-yard average on the rush. That's how they really won it because both teams played pretty clean. I only had one turnover, and that was the goofy fumble. If we would have scored on that drive, things maybe would have been a little different. I don't think so because our defense just – they didn't come to play today. For, and we just don't have any talent on that side. I get that. It's just really weird when you see them play so great against Notre Dame. But anyway, one step closer to the offseason, which I'm super excited about. If we can get this next win against Eastern Kentucky, we'll go five and six. That gives me quite a bit of points to play with. I'm going to recruit local. I'm going to recruit nothing but one and two stars unless somehow, some way, we go up to a two star. I don't think that's possible if you have a losing season, but you never know. But we'll definitely monitor that because, again, my recruiting rule is I can only recruit one star above my current prestige, which we are one, which means I can only recruit two stars and below. If we somehow go up to a two-star, then wow, that'd be great. We can start recruiting three-star guys. Which also means we got to increase the schedule. we got to put three ranked games on the schedule. Sort of like what we've done this year. Notre Dame wasn't ranked, but they might as well be in. But anyway, next up, we got Eastern Kentucky. They haven't won a game. Nothing's gone right for them. Hopefully, we can get that win. Go five and six, finish strong, and go to the offseason with a little bit of momentum. All right, guys, come on back, and I'll talk to you later.